Good morning, guys. Welcome to Social Studies. Let's talk about the Great Lakes today. The Great Lakes. Copy the title, please. The history of the lakes. The states of the Midwest. Remember, mid Midwest is this part. Here, let me see if I can see. Okay, here, this is the Atlantic Ocean. This side. So here is the south, um, southeast, this one, which is the smallest region of United States. Now in the middle, we have the Midwest. So it says that the states of the Midwest that are near the Great Lakes are called the Great Lakes states. The states that like surround the lakes. What are the names of the lakes? Lake Ontario, Erie, Huron, Michigan, and Superior. Those are the five Great Lakes. And which one is the greatest or the biggest? Which one is the, the greatest or the biggest lake? Superior. Look at this, Superior. Lake Superior. Lake Superior is the biggest one. The biggest ones of the five. And the smallest one is Ontario. Ontario or Erie? Yeah, Ontario looks like Ontario it is. Something about this, very interesting about this um, lakes. The lakes are connected to each other. So if we go back to this one, it means, it means this lake, okay? The water go through here, through here, or maybe the other way, from here to here, then maybe here, here, and there is a, a river over here and finished in the Atlantic Ocean, here, finished in the Atlantic Ocean. So that's an interesting fact about these Great Lakes. They are connected to each other. The Great Lakes are the largest group of fresh water. Fresh water is the water we can drink, fresh water. We cannot drink salty water from oceans. So this one is the largest group of freshwater lakes in the world. In the world. Okay, Crystal. So that what is the title for the students that connected lake? The Great Lakes. That's the title. The Great Lakes. Copy the title. The students that connected lake. Late. Fresh water, okay? They contain about one fifth of the world fresh water. Ooh, imagine today we started working with fractions. So one fifth means that the whole the, the whole world or the whole the water from the whole world is divided into five parts. Fresh water, okay? We are talking about fresh water. Fresh water. Fresh water is water we can drink. And one fifth of this water is in the five Great Lakes. So this part of fresh water of the world are in the Great Lakes. The rest of the water in the rivers, in other lakes, in ponds, in lagoons, all around the world. But there is a huge amount of water in these five Great Lakes. Remember, okay, the fresh water is water that is not salty. They are so large that they appear to be seas. In most places, you cannot see the opposite short. La, la orilla opuesta. If you are, if you go to Johoa Lake, you can see the other short. You are, you are um, at the restaurants on decks. The restaurants in Johoa Lake has desks. Tienen como terrazas, right? So you stand up over there and you can see the other sides of the lake. The, the opposite short. El, el, la, la orilla contraria. But in, the, in these great lakes, you cannot see the opposite short because they are huge. Look at this one. And I'll show you, look. What can you see here? Just the horizon. 
you see the horizon here, that's it. But this one, that's why it says that they look like oceans, like seas, because you cannot see the opposite shore. They are huge. Look at these other. These one are pictures from those lakes. Aha, uh -huh. look at this. The Great Lakes were formed many thousands of years ago during the last ice age. What happened in, uh, during the ice age? What happened here? Let's talk about a little bit about ice age. In the movies, have you seen the movies? There are like four ice age, one, two, three, and four, four movies, ice age. Hello? Hello, hello? Yes. Uh-huh. What can you tell me about Ice Age? What happened? And I also, come on. Is the Ice Age, the oceans freeze? Freeze or melt? I haven't saw the movies, but I have, I have seen a little bit. <laughs> so, so, the, so the glaciers, well, the water frozen or melt, frozen or melted. What frozen happened? because in an ice age, it says ice, ice age. Okay. So the water frozen, yeah, during uh, winter. But what happened, let's say during this like a summertime? Is it like is summertime, that? the oceans, the oceans. We're like melting. Melting, not, not completely, not completely. Not completely, there is a little bit, of, there was a little bit of cold. And then the rivers of Lake Superior, Lake Huron, Lake Erie, Lake Ornado, and the other ones will create, were created. Uh -huh. So what that's what happened. At that time, much, much of North America was covered with thick sheets of ice. And these thick sheets of ice were called glaciers. Movement of the glaciers caused deep pits to, let me see this, to this one. Cause deep pits to form in the earth. As the ice age ended, okay, no more uh, very cold weather, the glaciers melted, se descongelaron. So the melting water of the glaciers filled the peaks or these spaces here. This one can be like a mountain, right? Like this one, like a mountain with no water. So these peaks were filled um, with water melted from the from the glaciers and this is how the great lakes formed look at them see this water flows from lake superior the water flows to lake huron then to lake erie to lake ontario and finally here finish in the atlantic ocean that water the elevations of these lakes is different. Look at this thing, St. Mary's River, St. Clair River, Lake St. Clair, Detroit River, Niagara River, and Niagara's Fall. Niagara's Falls is located here. I think you have seen this one. I think you have seen um, pictures of a Niagara's Fall. Niagara's Fall is water that falls. So it is located there between Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. Niagara's Fall has a Canadian side and has an, an American side and a USA side. Because the lakes are exactly dividing the two countries. This is picture from Lake Erie. Looks like an ocean, isn't it? What do you think? Doesn't look like, like a lake, right? Lake Huron. Lake Michigan, look at this one. Who's going to think this is a lake? No, no one. Right? No, no it's an ocean. Looks like an ocean, exactly. In Lake, well, 
this is Lake Ontario. This would look like a beach, isn't it? Like yes. a beach, yeah. like a beach. And Lake Superior. Oh, there's a lighthouse here. Look at this sunset. Beautiful. Now, I have a video um, that is going to help, it's going to show us some uh, interesting images from the Great Lakes. Means that like Lake Superior. Uh huh. Name the five Great Lakes. Let's copy these questions Lake Ontario, Lake Erie, Lake Huron. Oh, we missed five. We missed three more here. So what is what is the other one? Lake Egan. Superior. Lake Ontario. Lake Superior. Lake Michigan. Lake Erie. Uh-huh. Ontario. Lake Ontario, Erie, Huron, Michigan, and Superior. There, there they are. Those are the names of the Great Lakes. What happened at the end of the last ice age? What happened with that, that sheet of um, glaciers? Uh huh. What happened? They get. Uh -huh. What do you say? Say it again. The ice, com the ice combines in water and, and, and they form the rivers. Yes. The glacier melted and filled the pits forming the Great Lakes. The glacier melted. That was happened. Okay. The number three, what kinds of habitats are found surrounding the Great Lakes? What kinds of habitats? They were to copy. Forest. Jose, uh, Jose Enrique, you're not copying either. Copy, please. We don't have time. What did you say, Maria Jose? Forest. Aha. Uh -huh. Habitats, yes. Forest, grasslands, and wetlands. Yes, forests, grasslands, and wetlands. How are the Great Lakes known? And this name um, was given to them because of the size and because of how they look. They look like what? They look like what? The Great Lakes looks like what, class? Like oceans. Ah. Exactly. So they are known like inland seas. Inland. Because it's like a sea in the land. OK? They, are, they look like oceans or seas in the middle of the land. That's why they are called Americans inland seas. Copy, please. It is late. Sebastian, don't get distracted, please. Number five, how much water the Great Lakes contain? That was an interesting number, isn't it? Remember the number? Uh, 23 quadrillions of water. Quadrillions of water. Quadrillion lit liters of uh, Look yeah, how many. Quadrillion, quadrillion. quadrillion liters of water. Look at how many zeros this number have. That's a lot of water. It has a question. Uh -huh. How much water the Pacific Ocean has? That's my question. <laughs> What do you say? The question? 
the, the Pacific Ocean has more water than the Great Lakes. Water. Yes, of course. Of course it does. Let's see how many. I'm gonna search in internet. Oh, by the way, you, you say 80, 84 degrees Fahrenheit into Celsius or centigrados or 81, 28. 81. Oh, it's 28, about 20, about 28 degrees Celsius is our temperature. In the United States, the scale, the scales of, of temperature is measured in Fahrenheit. But here in Honduras is in Celsius or centigrados. How many liters? Liters. Liters of water. Pacific Oceans, you say, right? Pacific Ocean. This is the, the amount of water in the Pacific Ocean. Look at this number. It's 30, 13. Has one, two, three. So it has one, two, three, four, five, six periods. One, two, three, four, okay. five. Yeah. It has, remember that in math, every three groups of numbers is called a period. Cada tres números, we write a comma, right? And all of those three numbers is a period. Esto. Let me change the color. Esto es un period. Esto. One period. See? Two, two, three, four, five, six periods. It got two more numbers. Seven, this one belongs to the seven period. This is the amount of water in the Pacific Ocean, but the amount of water in the Great Lakes, in the five Great Lakes has only six periods. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah. The, the Pacific Ocean has Please. more water. Miss, uh -huh. in the Caribe, in the Caribe. Oh. The Caribe is the same as the Pacific I Ocean. Santiago. I finished. Santiago finished. Finish Miss Diego. Cubic kilometers. Mm. Liters. Is where it is. You you finished. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. Because the number is not like that one. It doesn't appear like that one. Billion trillion liters. Goodness, it says one. Um, where I think. Look, me. I don't find the number. But also, well, the Atlantic Ocean might have more water, more water. I think the Atlantic is bigger than the Look, Pacific. Miss. Okay. I so I miss. this one, as I said, since the beginning, it's going to be a very Look. interesting class. So guys, thank you for your attention. See you later.